हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग की हाल चाल आई होप यू गुड इन दिस वीक ऑन दिसम फाइंड द फर्स्ट प्लेयर टू विन के गेम्स इन अ रो नाउ दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू ऑफ टूडेज कॉन्टेस्ट थ्री एम फॉर ऑर्डरली लाइव जस्ट गो एंड राइट अपॉन नेम बाय आर एम यू गेट द वीडियो नाउ बिफोर दैट प्लीज यार 45k subs before june end will be very grateful to you now the problem simply says that there is a competition in which i have n players from 0 to n minus 1 and uh, they have given the skills and what happens is and all the players are standing in a queue now queue starts from the very beginning itself now the competition process is that is as follows the first two players in the queue will play a game against each other and the higher one will still remain in the front and the one who has a lower skill will go in the back and this should keep on repeating until the first player who wins k games in a row so let's see what will happen so again the queue the front of the queue is here back of the queue is here now i have to take two people from the front of the queue four and two i will take them four and two i will make them play against each other now this but yeah uh, four as he has a higher skill so he will be in the front and two will go in the back okay so right now for four as a player his consecutive wins so far is one he has won one game if he wins two game consecutively then he is the final winner cool now but so far not let's continue now take two front queue take front from the queue okay four and six six will win four will go in the end so okay six is the winner okay six is the winner now for six the consecutive count will be one okay now uh six and three again six and three both will come out six and three will play against each other six will win six count has become two six will come back three will go in the end and we have realized six is the first player who won two consecutive games thus six is our final winner and thus i have to return the index of six so in the original array the index of six is 0 1 2 3 4 index of six is 2 thus the answer is 2 that is your task now you can simply try to simulate the process if i ask you bro why don't you simulate the process just try simulating it are in what the simulation means simulation means just do the same what the problem is saying so your task was take the two from the very beginning or the front of the queue and then push them back what is the data structure in which is for sure a queue in which from front you can remove and in the back you can push what is that data structure that's simply a queue you can also use a dq i have used a dq so i will simply remove from the front push that back in the queue and i can see very easily that my array is reducing but not reducing technically it is same it's just that this portion is becoming empty which means this portion is reducing but still whatever is remaining is actually going in the end but aryan if you are doing the same process and you have to get k consecutive wins how what what do you think okay you will simulate this process you will take two elements from the queue then you will just make the first one who is the winner one make them in the front remaining one will who is the loser will go in the end but how long will you keep on repeating this bro let's see because bro we need k consecutive runs as soon as we get that k consecutive runs we are good to say we have got the answer what is k K is one in nine. Oh, one in nine. So, are you are you saying to repeat this process for one in nine times? Um, I'll say no. Why? Let's see. Let's let's imagine your K would have been three, right? So far, which means six scored would have been two. He has won two consecutive matches. Now, for sure, for the next trial, he two players will get from the front of the queue. Six and nine are out. Nine will win. Nine will win. Okay, nine will go in the front. Six will go in the back. So for sure, six has lost. Nine consecutive count is one now. Now again, let's see what hap what's happening. Six and nine. Sorry, nine and two again get out. So nine wins. Nine is here. Two goes in the back. Again, nine and four. Nine again wins. Four goes in the back. Nine and three. Nine again wins. Three goes in the back. Nine and six. Six again, sorry, nine again wins. Six goes in the back. Nine and two, 
Nine again wins. Two goes in the back. You, you realize what, ha what's, what's, what happened? Nine will always keep on winning. Why? He is the maximum number. He has the maximum skill in this entire array. So no matter what, you compare with anyone. This will keep on looping, keep on looping, keep on looping. Thus, you know one thing for sure. That if I have a nine, nine. So if my k is more than equal to my n, although it is n minus one, because uh, for these people, I again for nine he can have one, two, three, four. He can have four matches. So if my n is five, I for nine he can have n minus one matches. So if my k is saying that you should have n minus one or more consecutive wins then for sure maximum skill number which is nine in this case having an index zero one two three four four will be my answer considering my k would have been n minus one or more that's for sure that's obvious he will be and he will be the only one who's having the answer thus we realized that now my k is bounded by n minus one so now my k is bounded by 1e5 now my k i can say okay k 1e5 so for k up to this value again considering n and k are both in line or you can say that i have just bounded my k earlier my k was 1e9 but now i know if my k is more than equal to my n minus one for sure the largest element is the answer for the other values of k which means when my k is less than n when my k is sorry when my k is less than n then i can repeat this entire dq process i will take two elements put in the end and then i can just keep on repeating it until i get those that specific index whose skill is actually higher k consecutive times and that's my answer and i know this i will repeat it just n times because of my k limit being n and i know n is 1e5 i am good to repeat the process and every process which means every game takes two element from the fr from the front of the queue and push it back uh, popping from the front o of one pushing in the back o of one that's the reason my complexity is simply o of n both space space and time now let's see the code it's pretty simple what we did uh, we firstly check if my k is more than n minus one grab the maximum element and its corresponding index and that is index is my answer now when this is done now my k is for sure less than n i can repeat this which means while two i am repeating this process until i am getting someone having consecutive account of winnings as k so i will repeat this process i will grab two elements two elements from the front of the queue i will check who has a higher skill if id1 has a higher skill increase the count of id1 then make sure push id1 in the front and id2 in the back because ID, id2 was the loser and then if somehow you get your count equal to k your id1 is your answer and ultimately minus one is just for you just to write it uh, although you will always get the answer here itself and that is how i actually did it in o of n time again this is while true but this will only go for o of n time cool thus my time is o of n you can easily see that will roughly take two passes in worst case you are grabbing elements and pushing element grabbing pushing grabbing pushing so like you can go on to every element at max you can say like like a pair of elements you can go at max twice cool that's the reason it is o of n plus n you can say space because of your q dq which you have taken it will again take a space of o of n because you have to take the entire q itself now can we optimize it yes obviously we can if we look at the things very closely what's happening let's see what's happening you just simply take one thing you simply take one element you compare it with the next index if if this number if if let's say two is less so okay still he is the winner still he is the winner so i will take my arrow here only which means okay he is the previous element he is the current current element i know these are skills but let's take as element in consideration so when i know that he is the winner that previous is the winner so for this previous consecutive wins are one so far okay my i will now move if my i has moved i can simply say okay my i has moved now okay now he is no more of a winner so four is no more of a winner so for sure his 
काउंट शुड कम बैक टू जीरो काउंट शुड कम बैक टू जीरो ही वॉज अ विनर ओनली वेन आई वॉज सिंग ओ ब्रो यू आर अ विनर वेन यूर कम यू आर बींग कंपेयर विद सम वन हैविंग लेस वैल्यू so i'll repeat the exact the same process what i will do i will make sure that if i have if i have this previous okay this is in the very beginning he is the only player but then two comes in if a two comes in i will compare my two with my this previous as you can easily see that score is high so he did not compare with the previous if he did not compare with the previous i can simply say his consecutive count for four which is previous right now i am simply checking the current skills of i if this is if 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 this is more than my previous so i have to say bro the consecutive wins so far has stopped it has come to zero but i'm saying if this is not the case this is not the case which means my previous is winning with ith element or ith skill if he is winning so for sure increase his consecutive count consecutive wins which is this one i will increase it and i know that if i am increasing something this consecutive wins if i if i am increasing at any point of this consecutive wins reaches k i am good to return my answer return my answer return my answer answer is let's see this index index is i will keep track of the winner id also in the very beginning when my previous when in the very beginning my previous is at 0 index 0 and my winner id so far i am assuming it to be 0 and consecutive wins so far is nothing 0 so i will make sure that whosoever is winning or whosoever is right now having that consecutiveness he he is having that winner id so for the winner id is the zero and ultimately i should re return that winner id itself now let's come on to the basic stuff what will happen in this when your skill of i if it is more than your previous then for sure obviously obviously the consecutive win count will increase by one because sorry it is not more than if it is more than my previous which means let's take in this consideration this i now my 6 if it is more than my previous i very obviously know that whatsoever consecutive win count i have grabbed so far that was of previous but now previous is not the winner now the winner is skills of i so firstly make sure you assign your previous to your skills of i okay now as he is the winner which means the skills of i is the winner and he is for the first time coming as a winner so make sure uh you make sure to assign the consecutive win count to zero because now no more previous is no more as of a winner skill is now the new candidate and arin but what about uh, skill is also the winner right he won with previous yeah he won with previous so i will increase that my consecutive wins here so no worries his 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 count is still increasing but it will increased outside it will help us because even if skill even if because right now my 6 because see earlier the previous was 4 skills of i was 6 now i know 6 is more than 4 so skills of i is not right now the winner but for the later ones when your i will move ahead so you have to make sure your previous should become equal to 6 so i have assigned my previous to 6 now my previous is 6 and the more the more people are not more than my previous the more i will keep on increasing my previous consecutive wins right that's okay previous i have assigned consecutive consecutive wins i have assigned i'm good i'm good i will simply say bro i am very good to simply move on to my next so i will okay let's say if i move on to my next here i have assigned my previous I have assigned my consecutive wins are in winner id yeah for sure bro winner id is as assigned as a current id because skills of i is the right now good candidate to be a winner so i is the winner id voila you have got your answer so if i show you the code it's exactly same that you have got your previous at again this shows right now skills of zero person he is the winner id he is a candidate for the winner his consecutive wins are zero then i will go on and check if someone new new good candidate having a higher skill has come so now he is the new good candidate as a previous person new good candidate for next matches and then consecutive win count is reduced to zero and then assigned back again increased back to one right this is you can also handle as a if condition but i have simply put it like this 
and then i have also said okay winner id is right now i because he is the new candidate having that skill at any point if i am actually i'm able to get this consecutive wins more than equal to k i'm good to say okay i should break now and if i am breaking right now i'm just saying okay bro i have got this value and i'm good to say and i that's that, that's my winner id which i should return and ultimately are in what about the case which you have told then when k is more than equal to n minus 1 bro you are only iterating on these all indexes so if it is even trying no matter how many times it is trying if it is not even breaking from here still it will end it will end only by saying that skills of i is more than previous so skills of i is for sure maximum element in my skills array and that i will for sure sign as my winner id and thus i will get my winner id if my k is more which means this this never this never is break like the break never reached which means my consecutive wins are more like my k is way more way more let's say it is 1e8 so for sure it will never reach here thus ultimately in the end i will have the id of the maximum winner person there can be multiple ways to implement it but the crux is that the space you are using just o of n right no q nothing and also it is a one pass algorithm thus the time and space is o of n o of n cool i hope you guys got it and yeah 45k july 45k par 400 par nahi cool bye bye take care